Hey Tanea, how you doing today? I'm doing well, how are Good. you? Good, I'm Glade, I'm your nurse. We're going to, uh, it looks like we've got an order to change your central line dressing. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions? Um, no. Okay. Positions a patient with the head of bed at or above 30 degrees. You okay right there? Mm -hmm. Assist the patient to position his or her head turned away from the central line. Alrighty, now during the procedure, I'm just going to have you turn your head over this way. Okay. Look to your left there, so that that way we don't end up getting any uh, contaminants in the sterile area. Okay. If patient is frequently coughing or has a respiratory <coughs> infection, places a mask over the patient's mouth. Have you been coughing lately? Is that a new cough or? That's a, it's pretty new. I just okay. had it in a few co last couple of days. Well, what we'll do is I'll give you this mask here. That way we'll just help prevent getting any infection. Place a sterile package on a clean, dry surface near the head of the bed. Tears package open sideways and secures the open flap. Opens the flap farthest from own body. Open side flaps. Opens flap nearest body. Treats as unsterile the area one inch from all edges of the package in any area hanging over the edge of the table. Does not leave a sterile field unattended or outside the field of vision. Okay, donning, okay, donning mask and removing old dressing. So remove this mask from sterile package without contaminating sterile field and correctly place this mask on face with metal piece pinch on nose and mask covering entire mouth and chin area. If actual contamination occurs at any point, immediately discard sterile field, prepares new sterile field if needed. Don's clean gloves. Removes old central line dressing. Removes old dressing by gently pulling off in the direction in which the catheter is inserted. Okay, I'm just going to gently lift this off. I'll try not to... Does not touch the port or the skin within three inches of the port. Donning sterile gloves. Opens outer wrapper and places glove package on a clean, flat surface. Opens inner package so that glove cuffs are nearest to the nurse. Fully opens the package flat so they do not fold back over and contaminate the gloves. Treats the one inch outside border of the package as unsterile. Taking care to not touch anything else on the sterile field with the non-dominant hand, grasps the bottom inner surface of the dominant glove and lifts up and away from the table. Slides dominant hand into the glove, keeping hand and fingers above the waist and away from the body, does not adjust cup. Slides gloved fingers into the inner cuff of the non-dominant glove and lifts up and away from the table. Slides non-dominant hand into the glove, keeping hand and fingers above the waist and away from the body and pulling cuff down completely. Adjust dominant glove cuff without contaminating non-dominant glove. Adjust both gloves to put the fingers in so that there is no excess at the fingertips. Keeps hands between shoulder and waist level, does not reach down or into garbage. If actual contamination occurs at any point, immediately removes contaminated gloves using the same technique as with regular gloves. Don's new pair of gloves if needed. Cleaning, Cleaning the site. Circle technique. To be used with alcohol 
and or beta dye. We use sterile gauze only to clean or soak up excess drainage at site prior to cleaning. Removes first wall from package with dominant head. Places tip of swab at insertion site and uses a circular motion to move outward and clean about three inch area around the insertion site. Only lifts swab off skin when moving over tubing, making sure to clean skin underneath. Does not return to the insertion site with the same swab. Drops you to swab into garbage while keeping hand above waist and away from the body. Re repeats the same process with the second swab. With third swab, places tip of swab at insertion site and cleans top of port and tubing with one motion away from insertion site does not return to the insertion site with the same swab. Assures that neither sterile hand is contaminated during cleaning. Friction technique to be used with chloroprep. May use sterile gauze only to clean or soak up excess drainage at site prior to cleaning. Removes chloroprep stick from sterile package with dominant hand Pinches wings and allows solution to moisten entire circular sponge. Uses repeated back and forth strokes with firm pressure from side to side in several different directions to clean the entire three inch area around insertion site. Like a treasure from a sunken pirate wreck. Scrub the deck and make it look shiny. Drops used to swab into garbage while keeping hand above waist and away from the body assures that neither sterile hand is contaminated during cleaning. Secur securing the new dressing allows time for solution to completely dry, which usually takes about 30 seconds. Removes dressing from sterile package. Peels off back of dressing, taking care to only touch outer edges of dressing with both hands. Applies dressing, so catheter insertion is at center of clear dressing. Firmly presses down dressing starting in center and moving to edges. Assures that no pockets of air are present under, dress, under dressing. Peels off paper on edge of dressing, making sure to firmly secure all edges of dressing to the skin. Remove sterile gloves and mask. It's time, date, and initials with pen on separate piece of tape. Attaches tape to edge of dressing, making sure not to block view of insertion site. Alrighty, so now we're going to get you put back down and cover you up here. Alright. And we can take that mask off now. Thank you. Alrighty, so as, as we've got that done now, we we'll just want you to let us know if you have any like pain or redness in the area. If you have like, if you notice a lot of drainage. Okay. Um, let us know. And then also, uh, we don't want you to touch it. We don't want you to be put rubbing it or scratching at it or things like that. If it is irritating, um, just give us a call. Just press the call light, and we will come back and we'll check it out. And make sure there's nothing going on. And if we need to, we'll change it again for you and get you all dressed up. Okay. Okay. The bed is all the way down. Side rails are both up. Your call light's there. All and right. let us know if you need anything. Okay. Thanks, Blake. Thank you.